I get some nice stats that I get to look at every week, so I'm allowed to see, I'm able to see who's listening and stuff, but I get very little otherwise. But it does help me feel more, um, I guess, professional as a musician. It feels more official. But uh, yeah, um, financially, uh, I'm not very supported by it, but it's, it's still a pretty cool platform for me to feel like I'm more legitimate as a musician. It's a tricky one. I guess it's just the way it is. I feel like new artists have always had a pretty tough time. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know what it was like being a new artist in the 70s or the 80s or the 90s. I don't know. I guess it's a really, really romanticized snatch, snapshot of, of that era. You know, they really, it's a nice way to sum up that era, I guess the way they write about it. I'm not a very knowledgeable Beatles fan. I would see like the Beatles like everyone, but I wouldn't say I know more about them than, than any, anyone. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. I found my favorite tree and carved my name in it so y'all remember me. Uh, it's a pretty terrifying question because I felt like I had a bit of a plan uh, before all of this. I was on tour, um, actually started my tour this time last year, a little European tour. Um, and as I was traveling from city to city, each one I left, the cases were going up and everything and everything was closing down slowly. Uh, and I ended up having to cut the tour short and went home. And the plan after was to release another single and then maybe do a, a tour around the UK. But obviously, like everyone else, that plan went to nothing. Um, so I guess now, even then, it was difficult to know at my stage with my work <clears throat> how to progress, you know, whether I need uh, support, uh, some more senior support or whether I have to work more on my content in order to get that. I didn't know whether it comes, you know, whether I need the support to get the content right, or I need the content to get the support. Um, and, and I've been toying with that. And then now I'm just thinking because of day-to-day -day changes in trends and what is cool in music and, and you know, um, I feel like I've just got to be authentic. And if I feel like releasing a song, not to worry too much about what it means and like whether it's a, a, a good decision or, you know, a good, a good time to release anything. So I guess now I've, I've been working on just loads of demos um, to show to, to as many people as I can in order to get support at the same time as just trying to keep the, the small amount of people who are listening to my music who I'm really grateful to. Um, to keep them along with the journey by releasing something at least <laughs> every six months. I guess, I mean, distribution support, that's a, a big one because I'm terrible with social media as we were talking about earlier. Um, uh, and I'm, I'm not very good at, you know, knowing how to market things maybe, or at least, you know, what sort of, what sort of marketing agencies to use or anything like that. So support in that sense is more important for me at the moment. At the moment myself, um, I've had friends managing me. I've even had friends at festivals pretending they're managing me to make me seem more official and see if I can get booked more. Um, and then I've had other friends from school who've gone on to, to manage some, some pretty cool artists help me out, but then end up get too busy and start saying to me, well, you know, you, you, uh, you need full attention. I can't give that to you at the moment. So at the moment, it's, it's just me. Um, but there's not, I'm not very busy at the moment. There's not much to be managed. I like having um, some sort of direction because with me writing 
I find very difficult to get to the point where I start writing and I put pen to paper for the first time or at least strum a chord. Um, and then once I'm there, it, it's, it's quite fluid. And if I'm given content, I remember at uni where I went to study music for one year before dropping out, we were given assignments and we'd be given um, quite unusual things to write about as a band. I remember I was in a band called Anthropology and we wrote an album about each organ and literally we were just writing songs about how the organ works. It wasn't very metaphorical or, or beautiful in any way, but I loved that. I loved just having some sort of direction with it, you know, because I love getting creative with a sort of boundary. Usually it's to do with my, my own sort of journey in, in developing as a human and what I understand about me and what I understand about people around me. And uh, I sort of treat songwriting as like a, quite a painful uh, expression, almost like a cry, just getting something out that I don't quite understand or I can't really uh manifest as like a tangible concept in my mind but it's a feeling that's either uncomfortable or great i need to get it out and desperate to um and it's almost like when you really need a cry or you need to sleep but you don't know you need it until you're doing it um and i guess it's the same for me with writing when i'm able to write something something makes sense i don't really know how to link um and then once I've started writing, it doesn't feel like I'm doing anything at all. It's just happening, I'm sort of witnessing it. And I'm writing about, I guess, things I'm trying to understand about me. <laughs>